there's a sharpening rate of decline in the eurozone as a whole. So again, that would suggest on the cusp of recovery, a bit premature. But what we should see is that rate of decline in GDP possibly ease in Q1, which again positions us for hopefully moving out of recession Q2, maybe Q3. So what what you're saying is Q1 still in recession, that exit will be put back to Q2. Q2 or Q3. What we're looking at is it was a 0.6% contraction in Q4. These figures at the moment so far in the first quarter, probably consistent with that easing to around 0.2 to 0.3%. Okay, um, so what's behind this this weakness? I mean, I thought things were meant to be improving. Well, there's there's two pictures behind this. Firstly, there's a big divergence between stronger performing economies like Germany and weaker performing economies like France. What we're also seeing is, in a lot of these countries, the domestic market is still very, very weak. Where we're seeing some of the growth more in places like Germany, where they're having a bit of a boost from export orders and from the domestic market not being as weak as elsewhere. Those export, uh, you say if export orders are doing not so badly, that would, uh, uh, doesn't seem to make sense given that the euro's appreciated so much in the last two, two three, three or three months. Yes, but the, the effects of that are being uh, countermanded by um, effects such as US growth still reasonably okay despite what we saw in Q4. And also we're seeing places in Asia, in particular China, we're also seeing reports of uh, particularly Germany benefiting from this. And again, Germany's also benefiting from its uh, domestic market not being as weak as elsewhere. Let's uh, go into Germany. Uh, it's a bit of a mixed picture. Manufacturing mm -hmm. expanding for the first time in a year, but barely. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, growth in services is falling and the euro fell quite sharply on the back of those German n mm -hmm. numbers today. So a bit of a mixed bag, no? A bit of a mixed bag. Now the German service economy, again, that's benefiting from the fact that the domestic market is remaining pretty strong in Germany. And again, manufacturing, what we're seeing there is a little bit of a benefit from exports and some domestic demand. But yeah, it's a mixed bag. But if the German manufacturing sector is beginning to stabilise, that's positive for mm -hmm. Germany. Good cyclical indicator. And also factors such as uh, low stocks and uh, that increase in demand mean that maybe Germany could start to ramp up production a bit more in the coming months. So just to be clear, Germany will escape recession? Well, think? it won't escape recession. It will avoid recession.